Well, Tyler ISD, school board candidates weren't the only ones to speak at the forum tonight. The three women running for the District 3 City Council seat also answered questions. As well as telling the people there why they're the right person to represent North Tyler. CBS 19's Peyton Wyman was at the candidates forum and tells us more. You know, it's important to vote even more so in the local elections than the nationwide. But the local elections affect our community more so on a day-to-day -day basis. The race for who will fill the District 3 City Council position is in full stride now. With about a month until the election, the three candidates spoke at a forum tonight. Mrs. Delilah Reynoso, Mrs. Shirley McKellar, and Mrs. Pamela Phoenix. Those in the audience submitted questions to the women on a variety of topics, but all candidates focused on District 3 and how it could be improved. Delilah Reynoso talked about wanting to have better communication to help the people of District 3. My hope and my desires is to represent, be a voice, be a champion, be an advocate for my district. Then that means we gotta have to be out there knocking on doors. It saddens my heart when I've knocked on more than close to 100 doors in the past two weeks, and they've said, Delilah, I've never had anyone come and knock on my door. Shirley McKellar spoke about her knowledge of the area and how to help it flourish. In North Tyler, I owned an early childhood education school for 20 years, employed hundreds of people. I owned a nursing service. I know how to bring business to East Texas. Pamela Phoenix touched on a need she's seen in North Tyler. Because how can we even solicit businesses if we don't have a roof over our heads? Affordable housing is needed in District 3. I've driven the streets of our district and I've seen some of the dilapidated houses. And we need to take a stand when it comes to our district. Yet all three agree that change and growth is needed for District 3. In Tyler, Peyton Weidman, CBS 19.